So the second piece of information we're going to process from the HNMR is what's called the integration or area under a signal. Now if you've had calculus, you know that taking an integral will help you find the area under a curve. So and essentially that's what we're going to do here. So our signals here are typically composed of multiple peaks, but there's an area underneath, and oftentimes at the bottom of a spectrum we'll quantify those areas in some kind of arbitrary units here. And so here our three signals have areas of 1.9, 4.1, and 6.0 respectively here. So and the idea is that the area under the signal is proportional to the number of equivalent hydrogens that it's represented. So remember here we got three signals because we have three hydrogen environments. Those are equivalent, those are equivalent, those are equivalent. We can see that these are in a three to two to one ratio. So and that's why this six to four point one to one point nine ratio, if we want to turn that into similar whole you know, whole number ratio, we take and divide all these by the lowest number. So here we divide 1.9 over 1.9 and get 1. We take 4.1 over 1.9 and get approximately 2. And we take 6.0 over 1.9 and get approximately 3. So oftentimes you get these integrations. First thing you want to do is take those areas under the peak and turn them into some whole number ratio like we have. Had these not come out to, you know, pretty darn close to whole numbers, like say one of these had come out to 2.5, I would have doubled the ratio through, doubling all the numbers till they were whole numbers at that point. So don't round up or round down if it's not right near a whole number. So uh, multiply through by a common factor to get to a, a whole number ratio. But in this case, just one to two to three ratio, exactly as they show up in the compound. And that's the next piece of information we typically evaluate in HNMR, just the integration or area under the signal.